thank you for joining us today. My name is Fuad Azmat, and I am the creator and designer of these uh, crochet hook grips that I designed actually for my daughter uh, who uh, suffers from a little uh, arthritis and you know some um, hand cramping or whatever uh, when she does crochet for a long period of time. So it, it, it took me a couple years to come up with a design, a final design actually. Uh, I had been, uh, I, I, I made different, so many different designs uh, to see which would work best. And uh, this one is a very universal design uh, that works for, uh, I would say, 99% of the people because we have had really um, good positive feedback. Um, so I made a little video of how this um, grip is made from uh, a piece of wood. Uh, there is actually a lot that goes into it. Uh, each piece is handmade. Um, now that I have already figured out what and where all the points need to be shaved off, uh, I can uh, make this pretty, pretty fast. Um, but there is actually a lot that goes into it. Um, these are very beautiful hooks. Uh, th this one is for right hand. Um, so you can grip it like a knife or you can grip it like a pen. Uh, I don't crochet, but I have seen enough uh, and I've gotten uh, enough feedback from people um, how they usually hold. Now, this is for a right hand. For a left hand, everything would be opposite. Uh, everything is made opposite uh, the right hand. So, basically, the left hander would also, uh, you know, uh, use it like a pen or a knife, but the indentations would be in the correct spots. Um, so, uh, as you watch this video, uh, I just want to uh, say the first step would be to find the wood. Uh, a nice piece of wood. Sometimes I come up with some nicer, nicer pieces. Sometimes it's very difficult to find wood. Um, I usually like to work with uh, walnut, cherry, maple, apple, oak, um, all those hard woods. Um, they work best. Uh, so once the wood is found, we dry it, and then um, it goes on the lathe to put it for a size. Uh, we size it up, and uh, if there is any defect, a major defect in the wood, then it will be tossed out. Otherwise, uh, it will go to the next step. And then uh, uh, we uh, shape it up a little bit uh, with a grinder and um, then it goes to the belt sander. And then we are sanding this uh, different indentations where they're supposed to go. Um, once all the indentations are there and satisfactory, then we take it to the drill press and we drill the hole. Um, after the hole is drilled, then we inspect the piece and um, then we sand it down and look for any imperfections or any trouble areas. Um, if it passes through there, then uh, we put on some, um, some treatment on it and photograph and put it on the shop. So uh, usually, uh, you know, of course, uh, there is a lot that goes into making one of these. Uh, I sell them as a single. I sell them as a set 
as a double, uh, which where you say five dollars, and then I sell a set as a triple, and you save even more money. And sometimes I do sell, you know, fours also. Um, and the more you buy, you know, the less, you know, it'll cost you per per hook. Um, I do have uh, other designs also, like spindle type. Some people like the spindle type design. So once you go to the shop, uh, you will see um, something like this listed on there. And then uh, you will, if it's a single, you can choose the size of hook and the brand. Uh, it'll give you the options. But when there are sets, you don't get that option. You have to write it in the note to seller which brand and size you would like installed in the grip. So I offer two, two different styles and that would be uh, Susan Bates or Boy. So these are both eye hooks. Um, this, this one is uh, Susan Bates and this one is Boy. And uh, the difference is that this is in line, is straight and this one kind of uh, comes up. So you will know that's the only difference actually, you know, and then the shaft on the boy is a little longer. So when the hook is inserted into uh, one of these handles, the boy hook usually goes till, you know, maybe this much. So you'll get about eight to 10 stitches easily, uh, loops on there, easily eight to 10 loops, you know, uh, you can squeeze them in there. But with the uh, Susan Bates, uh, I usually keep this portion out a little bit so you can still get eight to 10 loops if you're making some uh, intricate kind of stitch or, you know, something that requires you to have multiple loops at the same time on the hook. Uh, but these hooks, um, these grips are fantastic. They just uh, fit right in the palm of your hand uh, so you can crochet for a longer time. Uh, and even when using it as a pen, there is support here, uh, there is a support here, here, and uh, and down here. So it's 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 like holding very comfortably, uh, you know. So if you're crocheting like this, or you know, most people crochet uh, with, you know, like a knife, holding it like a knife. So you can either put your index finger here or your middle finger here, and you can guide your stitches. Um, you know, find the find the loops and whatever not. Um, but anyways. I uh, just wanted to show you a little bit how and uh, what all goes into making one of these. So these are all handmade um, by me. Uh, this design is patent pending right now um, and is a very successful. And I want to thank you for your interest and support. And if you have any other questions, please contact us on our shop and we will try to answer them as much as we can. Thank you for watching.